Go ahead. <clears throat> well, it ain't 12 hours, uh, but we did promise you a re uh, come back at uh, the unveiling of uh, Clark Pot. And uh, it's uh, 12.34 in the morning. I know everybody's in bed, but I'm not. Before we get started with the unveiling, um, <clears throat> if I've got my information right and I saw what I saw and I read it right, we're all in for a good early spring. How's that sound? Yeah. According to the uh, info, uh, the groundhog didn't see a shadow. So we're in for an early spring. So I went outside and checked out the snow situation and it's now a rain so i would say that yes spring is right around the corner okay with that being said let's get on with the unveiling of uh my crock pot it's a simple pot and it's been in there 14 and a half 15 hours and so before i just opened it up and went to town on it. I wanted to have the wife uh, focus in a little bit because we're going to blast you with the uh, steam and the aroma. I'm sorry you can't smell it, but you'll see the steam and maybe she'll tell you about the aroma. On one, two, three. Ooh, look at that. I wish you did have smell a vision Smells awesome. I can't wait to dig into it. You'll have to bear with me as I examine this thing because I'm not sure how we're going to dig it out. Well, we're just going to go in it like a surgeon and see what we can do. Look at that steam coming out. Beautiful piece of meat. Beautiful. Got the carrots going on in there. It's looking good. Good looking carrots. I'm gonna put them back in the pot. Um, Wanted to let that that meat rest. I uh, have two good friends of mine who are in the meat business in one way or another. One is a professional meat cutter. Another one is a professional chef. And I learned from them that you got to let the meat rest. So while it rests, we're going to get into this vegetable and see where we're at. All right, here we go. Right, maybe you want a review on that. It's looking good. I think it looks good. I'm not quite sure what kind of juice we got going on in there. So we're just going to dig into it and start straining it out and see what we're at. I got to dig down there and find. <clears throat> I got to dig down in there and find the uh, other slab of meat. I'm hoping that this uh, has all cooked out right. Got uh, nothing but peppers in there. And uh, potatoes, carrots. And uh, what I did do is I put a pan beneath all this. <clears throat> I wanted to capture the juice. Maybe for now, maybe for later, maybe to throw a little bit on top of whatever you're eating. Uh, you never want to throw away the good stuff, the hearty. And uh, I think we're coming up on some of those yams. Yep, got us a yam going on in there. There's yam and carrots. 
and uh, we've gotten down to the meat. I want to give it a whirl and see if I can dig it out. I believe I did a good job. It looks good, smells good. And, uh, you know, now that we're down to where we need to be, um, you can see there's not much back uh, fluid back in there. Uh, that's just a uh, box of uh, beef or broth so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, put all that back in there why waste the heat and uh, put my juice back in there I'm going to pour it this way I want you to see that juice if you can see that nice and rich I'm going to put that right back in there. Now look, I, uh, I cook bland. I cook bland for those that, who might be eating with you. <clears throat> they might have a digestive uh, that doesn't agree. So if you cook your cooking bland, um, they can always add what they want. I like a little hot sauce. I like a little spice, <clears throat> salt, pepper, whatever. But uh, this is simple. This is bland. It's not a whole lot to uh, mess. And uh, my wife and I have been thinking about eating this all day long. <laughs> and so... Uh, I'm going to prepare the dishes, and uh, I think what she's going to do is give you the uh, overall review, if you will, of the taste, because I would hate to think that I was blowing my own horn when I say what I think it tastes like. So I want to get an independent decision on the flavor and you know I've just changed my mind looking at that I'm gonna step this up a notch for the wife I know she likes a little gravy so what I'm gonna do is uh, get her some uh, carrots going on in there potatoes and uh, a little bit of that gravy and uh, put that right there on the side and uh, I'm not quite sure I would say we probably don't need a knife but we're gonna work at one because I'm sure she don't want to slab of meat that big and uh, now look, man, I'm going to tell you this much. If you're using the wife's pans, don't score it with a knife. Um, that's no way to score with the wife. So uh, if you score a pan, you might as well know you're going to have to go out this Valentine's Day and buy her a whole brand new pan set. And maybe some flowers, maybe some candy. Now, I'm not sure how much the wife is going to eat. But I'm sure I know exactly how much I'm going to put on her plate. And uh, then she can decide. All right. She can decide whether or not she wants to eat all of it. Or do that. It's already do falling that. off. Falling apart. We're not going to waste time making two dishes up. 
we are uh, getting the wipes ready because this is uh, February and uh, I do believe that we need to uh, think about what that means. I think I do have everything she needs. I believe she has her water here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and serve her. And then uh, I'm going to step out of it for a while because you're probably tired of hearing and seeing from me. And uh, I'm going to let the wife step in there. And uh, I'll let her blow the horn and tell you what she thinks about it. She's the wife. Here she is, Kimberly. What's happening? So if you're not subscribed, uh, hit that subscribe button. Um, hit that notification when we, you'll, so you can be notified. Um, I wish you do have smelly vision because this smells really amazing. Um, let us know in the comments what you think. Um, but yes, there's, here's the carrot. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Mm. You don't even need a, well, I haven't tried the meat, but here's a potato. Hot, but good. Mm. So the meat, yeah, you don't even really need a knife. It's really good. Wish you were. Wish you were here. Mm. Mm. Okay, say enough, but. Right? So, what's your thoughts? <laughs> I know I read the package. And uh, it said a steak. <clears throat> the way you cook it up and the way it came out, the only way I can tell you, it reminds me of uh, <clears throat> eating a real good roast. To me, a steak is good, but a roast is the best. Um, but everybody has their own opinion of what they like the most. And... Uh, I'm going to say I think the chef did a good job. I'm not blowing my horn. Don't get me wrong. I'm not blowing my horn. I'm not a pro chef. Uh, I believe in a crock pot. I believe what they can do for you. And if you're going to get one, get the biggest thing you can find. The best one out there is eight quart. The best one you can get is one that has folding handles that fold down with a locking lid. Keeps the flavor in. And as you notice, my cooking is always down inside the sink. That's in case you have an overflow. You don't have a mess. Not that I don't make a mess. You can. But you try to keep it to a minimal. And uh, if you've watched our video, we appreciate you taking time out to watch them. And uh, it's always nice to have a comment. Some feedback some thought, uh, some ideas, and uh, we like doing this. We don't do it often, but when we do, it, 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 it does come out awesome. 
and uh, and we're gonna try to enjoy our meal even though we are at 10 minutes to 1 in the morning and we're used to these kind of hours and uh, we're just hoping that we get some feedback some likes some comments some whatever it doesn't matter and uh, just wanted to uh, say once again I appreciate my friends in uh, the uh, chef business if you will uh, Mr. J, uh, a meat master of his own right, and uh, if you want to know anything about uh, what kind of meat to buy and how to prep it and how to tell one piece from another, he's the uh, kind of man you want to go to, real good friend of mine, and I uh, also want to say uh, Thank you and hello to a real good friend of mine. Uh, I know him as Big B. And uh, if he's watching this, he knows what we're talking about. He's another master in his own right. Pro chef. And uh, he always told me if I'd bring it, he'd cook it. And sometimes I've told him, Big B has been brought. So uh, I'm, not burn I'm not done bringing it. I got a few more dishes to bring. And he knows what I mean. And uh, I put the challenge to him, and I'm sure he accepts the challenge. And uh, just want to say hello to his wife and the family, and I hope they're all doing good. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get together again soon. Uh, spring is on the way early, and I'm excited. Okay, with all that being said, I got my dish here going cold. I got my taste buds dripping wet. I want to dive into this food. And uh, you just uh, enjoy the video. Maybe you want to try to make the meal and try it for yourself. But I think it's a five-star meal, not because I cooked it. I think it's because it's the way the crock pot cooks. All right, I'm going to back out. I'm going to throw the wife up in there one more time. Peace out. Back at you. This food is amazing. You got to try it. Um, but if you hit that subscribe button and the notification, you'll be able to be notified when we put up more videos. Um, let us know in the comments what, what kind of video, videos you like. And um, let us know your thoughts on... Put them in the comments. Um, so I'm going to be eating. Uh, it's really good. Mm. So, yeah. One of my babies. I don't know where the other one is. So yeah, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, hit, put that notification bell, click that uh, notification bell, and uh, see you on the flip side. Let us know in the comments.